What's up, guys? This is Chewy Don over at twitch.tv slash Chewy Don. I'm here today to talk with you about this whole event point system and the event point exchange. Why this is important and why you need to know about it. There's a few reasons. The event system is, for the most part, a pretty great way to learn some FOBs. Um, there's some pretty basic fundamental stuff that you can pick up from both the Mosquitoes Legacy event that was last week and the Bound Dragons event that is this week. Um, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simplistic, and it's something you can grind to really get an idea of, and as well get some great rewards from. Now, that's not why we're talking today. What we're talking about is this mission tasks over here on the right and the event point exchange itself. What these tasks are saying, pretty straightforward. Neutralize security guard with a shotgun. S1000 non-lethal knockout, boom, done. Fulton 1 security guard, easy. Neutralize 5, CQC, shotgun, sleep gas, whatever you care for, go for it. Fulton 5, do it. Infiltration successful, simple. No kill, no alert, perfect stealth, baby, learn it. Under, uh, what is that, 8 minutes? That's under 8 minutes. See that under 8 minutes? That's easy peasy. Staff rank bonus 1 or higher, don't use snake. Simple, 15k points, done deal. So what that means is, okay, great, I get 15k points and you did this breakdown and this whole run over and you sounded stupid. What does all that mean? Each time you do one of these objectives, you get a multiplier. So doing one of these simple 80 point that you may think, oh, it isn't worth it to fault and stuff. You actually increase the point values of all the major objectives you you do so it's it's really worth it to kind of take your time and get and get through these things it really won't add that much more onto your grind now so with these 15k points these 10k points these 50k points these numbers i'm throwing out you can come in here and cash them in every week this store changes for the most part we usually get one or two new uniforms this week it's only one it's ambush we get a couple new weapon colors so you get three you get a base color it's a repeat this week so if you already bought it last week sorry you get to save some points get a new emblem part, you get some nameplates if you've unlocked any of those, and then you get staff, big old juicy staff. So what the staff are about is you have S++ that are available to you, they're about 40k a pop. I purchased them all so they're no longer in this menu. So to get that done, you you can buy those once and it's it's two each unless you buy the S or the uh, combat rank, excuse me, and then you get four of them as a group. So Okay, that's about, what, 15 or so, 16 or so, S++ rank staff, that's great. The S++ rank and the S rank, however, you can buy up to 10 times. So if you're a new FOB, if you're looking at 40, 50, 60, maybe as your levels across all of your teams, the ability to buy 30 S++ rank staff for all of your departments is going to make a huge difference in your ability to develop and also protect your own base. Um, 210 S++ rank soldiers total when you buy everything in this menu and far more than that because it's a hundred for each department so you're easily looking at 700 s rank troops for everybody so there's some really great gains as far as being a new fob player and if you're in the moderate to top tier ends you also may want to try and keep up with this because this is probably a little more efficient than running real bases even if you're getting through them at, at six minutes each i mean what's this two runs you're looking at maybe five six minutes for some S plus rank staff, whereas five, six minutes is a chance at maybe one. So, you know, take it where you can get it, I guess. Um, now again, these points refresh every Tuesday. You lose all your points. There's new rewards. You gotta do the grind again. Um, this particular event, Bound Dragons, is gonna be running for two weeks. So it's almost halfway over and then we're gonna see a new, hopefully reset next week with more staff. Um, and as far as why this is all hyper hyper relevant is next week is the first release of an actual gameplay item so other than camouflage which is just basically reskins of stuff we already have we're going to get what's called the wormhole generator which from speculation will be an item that you place and then later we'll be able to teleport back to now you can think of this in practical pvp applications versus infiltrators and defenders or kind of speculate why you might be able to warp back to a location and how you can use that to distract and decoy so there's a few different things you can you can kind of look forward to and if konami grows on the system then i'm sure you're going to see more items in the event menu and this is going to be an even bigger deal again if you don't know what i'm talking about you've never seen this before in your fob menu you need to complete mission 31 in the main ops it's mission 22 to unlock fobs 31 to unlock events you'll have access to this and you'll be able to get yourself some staff and catapult yourself up there in the development ranks 
get some new equipment, help you run FOBs a little easier. Um, if you want to see some of my other content about FOBs, running FOBs, FOB loadouts, and all that, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video below. Feel free to comment if you have questions to try to answer the, the serious ones below, and I'll be happy to do what I can to help make this process even easier. And if you want to see live gameplay and you want to see this done in real time and ask me questions in real time, come on over to twitch.tv slash chewdown. You can find me there and the other Konami official K-Code streamers that are uh, MGO and FOB and up, and we'd love to talk to you. So thanks so much for your time today. Uh, I look forward to meeting you in the future, and uh, check me out in the other videos. Chewy Boss out.